So we're in the new Augusta Road Fire Station. This building replaces um, our old Augusta Road Fire Station that was built in 1950. This station is state of the art. We built the station in mind that it's gonna last you know, 50 to 70 years as our old station did. Firefighters are at a higher risk of cancer than any other profession. Um, the, the stuff that we, we get involved with on scenes, the carcinogens, the chemicals and things that can get on our equipment and our gear is, is we have to take care of that. Um, this station was built with that in mind and it's a contained area. So when they come back from a call, we actually have two areas. They can decon in one section of the building. They can take their gear into this, um, this equipment room. They can wash it in our extractors and they hang it up to dry. The room is actually dehumidified and it exchanges fresh air in the building and they exhaust the air externally. So those carcinogens, any type of thing that our, our firefighters come in contact with never enters the building. Um, we look at that. Our firefighters launder their own clothing here in a separate area of the building to make sure they aren't taking things home to their family. Um, we deal with all those type of things, precautions that we don't want to cause any problem, not only to our families, but our customers. We want to make sure that we don't take anything in anyone's residence we may respond to from someone else's. So we take all that very seriously. A firefighter spends a third of their life here. So you know, they work 24 hours here they're, and they go home for 48, but they spend 24 hours a day here. This is their second family. So you know, we need a place, you know, when the firefighters spend a third of their life here and they come back after a call, when it's a traumatic call or the things we see, they need the ability to decompress. They need the ability to, to have that, you know, some surroundings that are comfortable, that, that are relatable to them, that the stress, you know, one of the biggest things we see, you know, with public safety is stress now, PTSD, the type of things we're seeing. All those things affect us. Um, with that in mind, this station has a station alerting system. Um, so when you're woke up at three o'clock in the morning to go to a call, how the lights come on the station and how the alerting system comes on, all those things were thought about and how this building was constructed. The living quarters is important, where, where, they, where they sleep, we're here for 24 hours, where they have some downtime to work on homework assignments, where they, you know, a lot of our individuals go to college, they study for promotions, they study to advance themselves in their careers as a firefighter and EMT. And they've got to have a place to study that's, that gives them some quiet time. And when we look at the, the new techni technology that's in this building, um, the entire building is on generator. We control the lights on August now and on Ferris that allow us to make easier access to respond to um, scenes more efficiently and effectively. Um, we have decon rooms in the building, so when our firefighters come back from scene, they can decon themselves or equipment. You know, we look at from the, the flooring we put down in the building for longevity to the lockers in the bathrooms that are um, a plastic type material that will last, they won't rust, things along those lines. Um, everything we look at is about efficiency. This station is here because of our dedication um, from council, our mayor, city um, staff, to um, fund public safety, replace our aging buildings, and also our citizens who passed tax referendum to allow us to build both Rode Fire Station and this station in their support of public safety. This is a planned development, so when we built this station, it had to meet the design of the neighborhood, the, the approval of the city for what the other community around us looked like. It's also a thing about longevity. So we try to put things in here that are gonna be here that takes care of our taxpayers, takes care of our citizens. The fact that we plan for the future, and that's what the station was designed and built for, was to plan for the future to be here at 50 to 70 years from now.